Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And uh, this reading can apply to any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have the Fool, Major Arcana. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Three of Wands. So the Fool is always uh, such a fun card, really, to have within a reading. Because the Fool speaks to all of the little journeys that we decide to choose within a lifetime. We constantly um, sign up for new opportunities, new paths, new places, new people, new relationships, new jobs. I mean, it, that's a given. It really doesn't change. And so what do we do? We see this beautiful white rose here. It's an idea of, of purity, and it's the purity of what's in your heart of following your passions, of having faith in yourself. And when you do that, you take a leap of faith. When you move in a direction, perhaps, that's outside of what you typically do, outside of your normal routine, you know, outside of your comfort zone, is that you have this opportunity to grow, to learn, to experience, to have some fun, you know, and hopefully have some success. But ultimately, it's a journey for yourself because you, you learn about yourself. Now, not all times that we take the leap of faith does it work out. Isn't it better, though, to then, isn't it better to take the leap than to not take the leap because you would never know? So there's a, there's a line between being uh, the fool and being energetic and excited and bringing passion and um, uh, importance into your life. And then there's a difference between being reckless or foolish. And so really the balance is to each person of how they get to that line and either cross it or, you know, maybe the leap of faith would be better next week and not this week. So, you know, just a small thing that I always consider and that I think about in terms of taking risks of putting yourself out there, of having faith, but most importantly with the fool is have some fun along the way. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, you're going to learn from it, you're going to grow from it. So with this fool card, here we have the Eight of Swords, and we see the woman's blindfolded. She's looking downcast. She has the swords behind her, and she's her upper chest is bound with a rope. And when you see this, you get a sense of sadness. You get a sense of being blinded, as sometimes we, we, we don't see things. We don't want to see things. We may feel stuck or trapped. I often get a sense that with the Eight of Swords, there's a lack of confidence or for whatever reason, you're in a negative place. You're, you've, you kind of feel like the world is working against you and maybe you're losing hope. So a couple of things here, it's, um, you know, we have these moments of doubt. We have this moments of where we are, we feel like we can't move forward. We're just stuck where we are. And in those moments, I think it's important to figure out that um, you have to make the decision to try to strip off the blindfold or to get yourself free from this bind. And maybe when you can get your head around it, you know, this opens up the fool, the opportunity to take a you know, a chance to do something else. You may be doubting yourself. And for many, that's, you know, what we go through is we doubt ourselves. 
I'm not going to be able to do that. So how do we get outside of this is I do love seeing the three of wands because the three of wands, we see this beautiful yellow light coming out from the distance. And with that yellow light, that's illuminating. That is the lightness of spirit, the lightness of heart. We see the water, the mountains. We are checking out. Whoops, got a Romeo, Romeo loose. Let me hold him. Okay, I'm holding you, buddy. Mm, I love you. Mm, I love you. Um, this is checking checking and thinking about and visualizing what your big picture is, where you're headed, what you want to do. Again, centering on passions and uh, the things that, that truly make you, make your gears turn. And so uh, here we have, okay, hold on, sit down. stay there sorry you know we have this idea here of seeing and calculating <laughs> gosh <sighs> Romeo don't do that don't do that don't do that <laughs> okay Okay, I'm back. I had to put him up. He's just a handful when it comes to tarot. So if I can remember my train of thought, my train of thought was that this is such an important card in tarot and really for everybody. And it's the big picture. It's the opportunities for either travel, for exploration, for new enterprise. But what it is, it is you thinking about where you want to go. How are you going to make your passions, your dreams, or your desires a real part of your life? And often that can be whether you're sitting out and looking out over at the horizon or you're sitting down with a cup of coffee and a blank piece of paper and you are just jotting down ideas. This is what I want to do. And perhaps later in the year I want to do this and then eventually I want to have my own whatever photography business and I think that that's an important practice and first of all is to visualize and to think about what you want to do because then it can maybe move you off of this eight of swords where you feel maybe you feel lack of support you feel just stuck restricted unable to move, unable to see a way out. And uh, it, it, I think it's let your desires fly, let your imagination run wild. And then from there, you can begin to hone it down into something that perhaps that you can start this journey. But I see the idea here of you know, a new journey, a new opportunity, a new beginning is important. We need to get past our self-doubt and uh, the lack of faith perhaps in ourselves. And we need to always have this picture of where we're headed and what we want at the top, like the overarching umbrella and everything comes from that. So numerology wise, let's take a look at what we have. We have uh, eight and three is 11. And 11 is a lovely number. It's the master number of service. It's a master number and it's about service. That's what I'm trying to say. It's about wisdom and being a generous spirit, giving of yourself to others, helping out in some small way, whether it is a phone call for support going to the store for someone who's not feeling well, making a check, donating your time, helping in the soup line, whatever it may be, to be of service is, uh, it's, I think it's really a part of true enlightenment. 
So with, let's see what we have for the Oracle cards today, an affirmation for the day. Growth. So I spoke of growth with respect to the fool because taking the leap of faith, taking the new opportunity, making things happen within your life is always an opportunity for growth. And growth, as we look at the Three of Wands, we're thinking of our own growth, our own ability to move through life, experiencing, fulfilling our passions, in, and doing the things that we need to do in order to find happiness. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you have an awesome day and uh, I wish you the best. If you enjoyed this reading, subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.